All right, so this is my first foray uh, with shooting this rifle at long range. Uh, it's going to be 460 yards up to the rock on top of the hill up there. Now, granted, uh, this is quite an angle. We've probably got a 15 to 20 degree angle right now that we're shooting at. So elevation, I'm going to compensate a little bit by just dialing up 9 MOA, which is what uh, the, the ballistics chart actually uh, calls for 9.5. So we're going to only dial to 9, just to compensate a little bit for the angle. It's just a guesstimate at this point. There's very little wind, if any. There's just a slight breeze. I'm not really going to... The wind keeps changing, too. Right now, it's kind of just back and forth. So I'm going to... Uh... This shouldn't be a real difficult shot. At this range, 460 yards really isn't, too... really isn't stretching out too far. So right now, we're at 9. So we've got to go nine. So we're going to dial up to 12. This is what mine shows right now. Nine. All right, so we're dialed up nine. I'm not going to dial windage at all. I'm not going to dial windage right now. It's pretty dang calm. We'll see what it does up on the, up on the hillside here. That sure would have helped if I had my ears on. Ouch. As a hit, a little low and a little, little on the left side. Let me grab some more ammo. Definitely hits. Let's try rapid here. Nice. A little warm barrel. Let's give it a time to cool off. All right, it's pretty much right in the center of the screen. It's kind of a triangular shaped rock right in the middle there. So this is a little bit smaller target. This is like a deer sized target. This would be like the kill zone on a deer. Triangular shaped rock, let's see what we can do here. Okay, feeling the wind here. It's kind of from my back to my front, going a little bit to the left. So I'm going to hold just a tad to the left here, 560 yards, here we go. Alright, so I ended up to the right and low about an MOA. So we'll just dope off the reticle, so I'm going to hold. dead on and an MOA high. Whoa, elevation was good, wind changed. Got one more shot. Whoa, elevation was good, wind changed.
Okay, elevation's good. Let's just bring it over another MOA. There we are, dead center hit. All right, well that was less than stellar, <laughs> but uh, you guys get the idea. So it's 560 yards, it's about a, a deer sized target. I'd say that's uh, about eight or nine, nine probably, probably eight to 12 inches wide that rock so at uh, 560 yards not a super long distance but uh, anyway you guys get the idea of what it takes to kind of hit at that range but anyway project Randall shooting long range guys kind of medium range anyway so uh, yeah I'm happy with how it's performing so far it's a really 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 nice rifle I like the way it recoils it's very very light the trigger on this one, this natural match on this particular one is better than the one on the SPR 2.0 by far. It's a lot crisper and a little bit lighter. So it's uh, it's definitely a different different style trigger. That national match is pretty decent. So, but anyway, overall I'm pretty happy with the rifle. It's performing really, really well. So anyway, now I need to just get it back and zero the uh, turret, get it uh, all squared away and, uh, and she's ready to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen in the video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. But uh, anyway, just a quick sneak peek of the long range capability of the uh, Project Grendel. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next video. See ya.